On this page, you're going to be solving exponentials and logarithms. And the goal is to get the exponential or the logarithm by itself first by using addition subtraction properties, multiplication division properties, and then rewriting it as the opposite of whatever you have. So if you have an exponent, you're going to rewrite as a log. And if you have a log, you're going to rewrite as an exponent. So for the first question, the x Exponential is all by itself. So we can go ahead and rewrite as a logarithm. The base comes on down. The argument is on the opposite side and the power is always what the logarithm is equal to. This would be your exact value right here. To get an approximation, you would use your calculator, type in log and then um, let me pull mine up here. Because it's base 10, we can go, go ahead and use our calculator directly. And let me turn on here. Just hit the log button. It's automatically base 10, so you just type in the argument and come up with this. Now, they want it to the thousandths place, so that's three decimal places. So you have to look at decimal place number four to determine whether you round up. And in this case, we don't. So our approximation is point. 301. For the next one, here's my exponential, e to the x. There's a lot of stuff around it. So the first thing I want to get rid of is anything dealing with addition or subtraction properties. So I'm going to subtract the 8 first, bring down the 3 e to the x. Notice that 3 is multiplied times e to the x. So to unhook that, I divide it off. Now I have e to the x equals 8 thirds. I just leave it as a fraction because it's a repeating decimal and I don't want to have to write it all out all the time. But I do need to get the x by itself. So again, it's an exponent. I need a logarithm. The base is e in this case. Argument 8 thirds equals the power. Again, the power is always what the logarithm is equal to on the other side. Now, a few things. Log base e. Remember that by definition is really the natural logarithm of 8 thirds equals x. And now you can go again directly to your calculator, type in ln, and then do 8 divide 3, close parenthesis. And to three decimal places, this is going to work out to an approximation of uh, 0.981. Okay, that one got rounded up. For letter C, um, again, now we're solving for the logarithm, so I need to get rid of the number 7. So it's a positive 7. Subtract 7 from both sides of the equals. So I have log base 5 of x equals 3. Now I want to get rid of the word log, so I'm going to bring down the base to the power equals x. Or 5 cubed, 5 times 5 times 5 again will give you 125. So our exact answer and our approximation are the same, 125. Notice on letter D, if it's inside the parentheses of the logarithm, you can't add or subtract in there. So you keep that as the argument, but get rid of the minus 3 out in front. It's hooked by addition, so you have to unhook it by using, or it's hooked by addition here, but it's a negative 3, so you're going to have to add 3 to both sides of the equation. So I have natural log of x plus 3 equals 4. Another name for natural log, remember, is log base e. Right. I've got the logarithm by itself, so I want to get rid of the word log, bring down the base to the power equals x plus 3. Now your goal is to solve for x, 
So I need to move the plus 3 to the other side by subtracting it from both sides of the equation. So I have e to the fourth minus 3 equals x. All right, this is my exact value. My approximation then means I go to my calculator and I take e to the fourth, so do second ln to the fourth, and then subtract three. So to three decimal places, it's 51.598. That's my approximation. Okay. All right, let's take a look at letter E. I have a 2 out in front of the logarithm. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, bring down the minus log of x equals 3. I still have a minus in front of that logarithm. That's negative 1 times the logarithm. So to unhook multiplication again, divide off by negative 1. So I have log of x equals negative 3. So I've got the log by itself, which is my goal, but now I need to get rid of the log. So if I want to cancel out the log, I've got to bring down a base. The base is an x here. If you don't see the base on the word log, the base is automatically 10. All right, so if I bring down my 10, the power negative 3 equals x. Or if you take 10 to the negative third power, you're going to get 0 0.001. These next two rely on this property that was on the previous page of your note packet. A raised to the log base A of x power is just x. If these bases are the same, everybody cancels. And it's just the argument that it's equal to. We're going to talk a little bit more about inverse functions and why that is. But for now, we can look at it as a problem like this. 10 raised to the log base 10 of 85. Notice I put that base 10 in there because it wasn't written in. These cancel out, and I'm left with 85. Right. And for this last one, same idea. Remember, the ln natural log is really log base e of x squared equals 16. Everybody cancels. x squared equals 16. Hit it with a square root, put your plus or minus in. x could be two different values, a positive 4 or a negative 4. Sometimes on WebAssign they'll ask you to separate it with a comma. So you would just write in 4 comma negative 4.